Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Now this is something a little therapeutic, creating some items for Tiffany & Co at the Blue Box Cafe in Harrods. We've been approached by Matthew Bull from a design and production agency called Practical Minds. They specialise in bespoke, high-end retail and commercial interiors, and that's exactly what this project entails. As part of a Christmas re-theming of the Tiffany's area lobby, we're going to be creating not the baubles on top, but the ripple table tops underneath. We're going to be making these in a few different sizes, and finishing with the surface that the client can then take on to be chromed. This will eventually be finished in a rose gold, often associated alongside the Tiffany blue, and that's not just a generalisation, it's actually called Tiffany blue, or 1837 blue, after the founding year of the company. These colours have become a somewhat recognised colour of luxury all over the world, and with that in mind, we need to make sure that our work is up to scratch, or rather no scratches at all, and deliver something top notch for our client. These ripples are going to be carved on the lathe for a uniform machined form. Wire brushes are being used when the lathe gets up to speed, and fingers crossed that this doesn't end up jumping off and running away, because I don't want to be in the way when it does, particularly the larger ones, so good luck Aiden. Now, I know what you're thinking, we've missed half of it. He had his back to the camera, we wanted to see the carving... Well, we hear you. We're not keeping any secrets on this project, so let's take a look at the next one. And this is where that real therapeutic element comes in. Oh yeah, look at that, that's the one. It's like looking into one of those spiral hypnotic wheels, you know what I mean? Now, I'm telling you, if you didn't enjoy that, there's something wrong with you. That's it. Oh, for God's sake. This is about 1.8 metres in diameter. That's asking for trouble. Yep, called it. Said there'd be trouble. He's only gonna burn the motor out on the lathe, isn't he? Right, I'm um, I'm gonna have to fix this, and uh, the rest of it's gonna have to be carved by hand. Now it's broken, Aiden. Got to change the motor. So to ensure this stays nice and smooth, rather than going on with glass fibre, where we would then need to flow coat it with resin, get the heavy sanders on it and lose our lovely form, we're going over instead with a two-part plastic mix. Though it's not as strong as fiberglass, the plastic provides a shell that we can sand down and work up to a good finish. We go over again and again with fillers, sanding back each time to try and see what we've got until it gets to a point where we prime the surface to see if we're happy enough with the finish. Remember, the client is going to have this chromed, so we need to ensure that this is pretty much as pin perfect as possible. Well, there's a couple of P's there. P -p 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 ASMR. Lovely gloss finish on the paint, but as you can see there are a few imperfections, dinks and dots on the surface, so we're going to be improving this to leave the best finish possible. 
repeating the process of filling, sanding, repriming and respraying until we get it exactly where we want it. With everything complete here at our end, it's off to the chromas, whereby it's then joined with the rest of the elements to complete the display. I mean, as far as concept to completion goes, that's pretty much spot on. With this being a little while ago now, everything out in the open and well out in the public domain, we thought we'd pop on social media and have a little hunt back through time. We try and find photographs of anyone that's visited the Blue Box Cafe in Harrods, London, and this is the spectacular result. We'd like to thank everyone at Practical Minds for approaching us with this project and allowing us to collaborate with a piece of art for such an iconic company. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below and for all of our true diehard fans out there you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos so if you enjoy our content you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.